and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a new video. Today we will be trying out a new product from Westman Atelier. We will be trying out the new complexion Vital Skincare Drops. I think that's the name. Vital Skincare Complexion Drops. That's the correct name. But before we get started, if it is your first time watching, please hit the subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, don't forget to hit the like button. All right, y'all, so let's just get right into today's the Complexion Drops retail for $68. It is available in 22 shades. It is medium coverage with the radiant finish. It's hydrating and it is cruelty. I did pick up the shade 11.5. I'm not gonna swatch it. I'm gonna just go straight in with applying it um, to my face. But today for primer, I will be using this um, Gucci mattifying primer. And side note, y'all, what the heck is going on with Sephora flash shipping? I've been noticing when I order stuff from Sephora, it takes a long time for um, Sephora to ship it out. So I went and I checked to see if I still have flash shipping because I thought maybe it expired because you know you have to renew it once a year. So I go check it and it's like unavailable. So I'm like, what the heck? Then I look online. Um, I think I did a quick Google, uh, Google search and it was like Sephora doesn't offer flash shipping anymore. Does anybody know why? Because now like Sephora, I'll order something. Matter of fact, I ordered something Monday and today is Thursday while I'm doing this video and my stuff still says in progress. Like it's no tracking number. Usually when I order from Sephora, I get it like that. Sometimes I get it the next day or the max it'd be two days. Now it's been taking like almost a week before they ship it out. So like, what's going on y'all? I don't know, like if anybody else has been experiencing that. Y'all, and this is very, very runny. I probably should have shook this up. I don't know, it kinda has a scent to it. Yeah, this is too dark. Cause it's not too dark, but the undertone I don't know, it, it's not a neutral undertone. I think the shade I picked has a neutral undertone. I don't know, I have to check, but. Okay, I wanted to show y'all exactly what it looks like on my face before I um, put concealer and powder on. As you see, this definitely gives you a very hydrating, glowy kind of look. I know once I put powder on, that look will be toned down a lot, but this is like how it's looking right now. It's a little, too hydrating for me as of right now. I, I don't like how it looks. It just, yeah, it's too hydrating. This is what my face looks like. Um, as of right now, I don't like this. I feel like this is a product that is definitely made for somebody with very dry skin or somebody that want a very healthy, glowy kind of look. And I stay away from complexion products like this just because I have oily skin. I'm gonna have a healthy glow. <laughs> No matter what I put on my face, and something like this is just gonna make my skin look a lot worse by the end of the day. I tried to go in with a lot of powder to tone some of that glowiness down, and I still feel like my face look extremely glowy to me in person. Also, the shade I got, this is a shade that I can make work. The undertone is off. I just looked online, and this is a tan terracotta undertone. I don't know why I picked this shade because I did see another shade that has like a golden neutral. Maybe one of those might have worked, but I don't feel like this is a good undertone. To me, this kind of looked a little orange almost, like more on the orange kind of red side, if that makes sense. This is definitely not neutral or golden. Um, this has pretty nice coverage on it. I would say this is medium coverage. You probably will have to go in with a lot to get a full coverage look, but yeah, I just feel like right now in this moment, this is not going to work well on my oily skin. Especially right now, because where I'm at, it is still very, very hot. So, I know when I get back, my face is going to be a greasy mess. But, of course, I will do my normal wear test, and I'll see y'all in a couple hours. And we'll see exactly what my face looks like, and I'll give y'all my final thoughts. This is what my face looks like with the foundation on after seven hours. As you see, some shine is definitely starting to come through my T-zone area, but that's to be expected. I have extremely oily skin. When I left out this morning, I felt like this was not going to hold up. It actually held up a lot better than what I expected it to because I just knew I was going to come back and I was going to look super shiny. But this is how my face typically looks after having foundation on all day, especially if I don't touch up my face with powder. This is pretty much exactly how it looks so this did held um, hold up a lot better 
than I expected. I do still feel like this is a product that somebody with normal to dry skin would really, really like. If you are extremely oily like myself, you definitely need a very good matte primer and you need a really good matte setting powder because if not this will not work for you i don't think it will especially right now it is still hot and humid depending on where you live at this actually might be a product someone with oily skin would like more during like the colder months i could see somebody wearing this just because it does give you that healthy kind of skin uh glow um look I know a lot of people like to go for that look. So this does not transfer. Did not get on a mask. So that is also a plus in the middle with this. I don't love it and I don't hate it. It's a decent complexion product. I probably will try it out again and see if I like. Even though it doesn't look bad at all. It just This is not the type of foundation I like to wear. It's a little too dewy for me. And when I got back on Sephora's website to read more about the foundation, it says it right there, dewy. Um, Vital Skincare Dewy Something Foundation. I don't know how I missed that word, but yeah, this is a very dewy foundation. You kind of seen that earlier after I put powder on, I still had a lot of glowiness to me. So yeah, and also, I do feel like this is a little overpriced only to have 22 shades there definitely should be more shades for $68 but what can you do so on a scale of 1 to 10 what would I rate this I'm going to give this an 8 I'll give it a solid 8 it's decent again I don't love it I don't hate it either um, I feel like it's a little overpriced for the amount of shades that's available so yeah I'll give it an 8 um this is a product I feel like you will really have to go out and test it out on your own because I could see some people absolutely loving this and I could see some people hating this. So I would say definitely pick this up if you're interested to see how I wear because I'm really in the middle. Like I just can't say for sure whether or not if I dislike it or I like it. I'm in the That's it for today's video. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Have you picked this up already and what are your thoughts? Do you plan to pick it up? Y'all leave all that below in the comment section. And most importantly, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all later. Bye.